Hello, humans and pets. Subscribe for the cute dog. <laughs> but more importantly, we're going to be drinking Monster Energy today. Oh, my goodness. These are two flavors we have not had, though. We have not had these. We've only had the original and the white can. I like the white one. This is a Monster Energy Juice. Oh. Um, so, and then this one is just like a flavor. We got Ultra Paradise and we got Pipeline Punch. What is the difference between flavored juice? We're going to see. Okay. Uh, I was suggested these and I was told to put them on ice. So we got, we got some with ice. But we're okay. going to just try it without it. Let's try this one first. Okay. You want me to pour yours? You can. Just don't go crazy. Because we're going to have to put it on ice too. Wow. So this one's the, the regular. This is the Ultra Paradise green can. Ooh. Oh, what what is this? No, we've, we've had we had this. It's strong. It's an apple, but something else. It, it smells like a green apple, but it has another flavor. And I know exactly what it is, but I can't think of it. Passion fruit. No. Uh, it's like a fruit, though. Not a mango. We're going to do one of them star fruits. All right, let's see. We'll try it. Green apple with something else. You don't get too much apple, though. You get more on a nose than you do on a taste. The flavor is actually not bad. It, it does bring you to that level of sweetness, but not to the level of too much sweetness. I'm thinking when you ice it down, which I'm going to do on mine. What was the last energy drinks we did that weren't monster? Let me do this. Because I think watered down, it'll be less sweet. What were they? I'm trying to think. Oh, of my uh, it was one of the ice flavors. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it tastes like one of the ice flavors. Yeah. Almost exactly. I actually like that. It is it is bringing you to that almost too sweet for me, but it's not. This one's not as bad as the other ones. I think this is way better. Just because there's more going on. I could drink this one. I, would, I could drink this one. When you put it on ice, it's, it dilutes it. I figured it was going to. So I'm going to put a little bit more just so I can have a reference. It egg. makes it less sweet. That's what I figured it was going to do. That's why I said... That's why I was told... Okay. Because Monster is always super sweet. I don't know if it cuts down on a sweetness. I do prefer it cold. And it does thin it out a little bit. But I don't think it actually... It's not killing the sweetness for me. It does for me. Just a little bit. Like, it's like a touch less. It, it does tame down the flavor. It's less though. sharp. It, it definitely tames down the flavor. Where the other one, it, it comes at you hard. It takes, takes some of the... I don't even know if it has fizz, but it has yeah. a fizzy taste. If that makes sense, it doesn't have carbonation. I don't believe. I think it does. Does it? Know. But it. it Not a lot. But when you put it on on ice like this, I do prefer it on ice. I don't know if I would prefer it also cold because yeah. this is not cold. Yeah, these are warm, which is also how I was told to do it because you get more flavor. You know. I do prefer it on ice because it does thin it out a little bit. It doesn't make it as thick. Yeah. What the energy drinks usually do. It's not as, like, sugary feeling. He made me get a whole other thing of ice because he didn't want cross-contamination. I I, no, I didn't want the flavors to, like, mix, you know? Like, we're going to I don't remember. Ahead. Which one did I put them in? Whichever one's smaller, probably. Mm. Probably that one, no? No. Now, this is Pipeline Punch. I didn't mind this one, though. I actually like this one. I think I like this one better than the original green one. I don't really remember. I know I like yeah, the fresco no, one like that they had. More. I like the one that tasted to me like fresh. That one was too sweet. I didn't pour it in my other one. I forgot. Got too excited with ice. Yeah. I, well, I wanted to try both, so I'm gonna let it sit in the ice. Finn wants to try the one with the ice. Did you smell it? Not yet. I'm gonna just mix it out. I did. Oh, so this is this now, is now this is the. Hold on, hold energy on, hold on. juice. So this definitely has whatever that means. It's either the mango or what was the other one? Was it the passion this fruit? It's definitely that mango, like a mango. Maybe mango dragon fruit. The dragon fruit this was is that heavy, the one? Heavy yeah, mango yeah. smell. It's definitely bringing that. I can see why all you silly kids are walking around drinking these. Like like they're yeah. they're very good. They're actually they're actually very good. I can see why, like, I can see 
for 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 this new generation of children. It's better. Look, I mean, that, it's, uh, it's 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 either this or coffee. No, this is what I'm saying. For you guys that don't, I, I grew up. I didn't drink coffee, but we yeah. always, when I got old enough, I could have a cup of tea, and and then so I drank tea my whole life. Mm-hmm. But for you guys that are, ooh, I, I'm running late. Like like this yeah. is the only kid I know that can wake up like five minutes before he's got to leave, and he brushes his teeth, gets dressed, and leaves <laughs> on time all the time. Like to me, I needed a routine. I had to get up, put the water on, go to the bathroom, take a shower. Like he can he can be like boom boom boom, and I'm out. I don't know how he does it, but anyways, I mean, I walk out the door asleep, and I go back to home asleep. Right, so. but for the grab and go generation, I could see where these would be a big hit. Where you don't have yeah. time to stop and get a coffee, but you can grab one of these. Drink it when you get there, and you get the caffeine that you're looking for. Yeah, and you get the sweetness that you kids crave compared to like like we, you know I didn't I didn't drink coffee as a kid, but I do have my two cups of coffee every morning now. Well, I haven't tried it on ice. I love this Oops. mango one. It's not like a heavy mango. Where did my napkins go? I, why did you move them? I didn't move no napkin. Kiroki. Um. Yeah. No. I made a mess. The. <laughs> This mango, it's not like heavy mango. It's no. like the perfect amount for me. No, it, it, it and it's it, it's not as sweet I, as I, the other ones. I agree. It, it brings me back to, it might even be the Pepsi mango that we did, where it was like the perfect complement of mango to the flavor of the juice. It's yeah. not like just because mango juice to me, which I thought was I got scared when I smelt it, mm-hmm. is thick. Like when you get like mango it's juice lump. It just, What's it, called pulp? Poofy? Pulpy? It, it, it almost feels like it's pulpy. It's never pulpy, but it, sure? it, it's like it's like thick. Like the a the syrup. guava one I get has pulp. Yeah. Well, I, um, it's usually, to me, though, it drinks like fruit. more like a syrup than like a juice. You know what I mean? It, but So I was afraid where sometimes these drink thick to me. Right. I, I don't mind this one either. I actually I actually I prefer don't mind eat, over all eat, of them. For me, because it, it's, it's less sweet. This one just goes down. Let me let me do. Oh wait a minute! I can't believe I'm drinking this one. Let me let me. I just had to swallow that. I'm gonna try to see it. That's hard. You know why? Because one of my favorite one of my favorite candies on Jolly Rancher is 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 the green the one. Green one. So I, I think I I think in my favorite color is green too, but that doesn't come into play. Yeah, it does. I, I, when you're reaching for a can, I, I think I, would, I think I'd be more tempted to get that one I, just because it's more vibrant of a pink. Honestly, I think I would go with the. It just seems more refreshing. Like it's it's more sparkly. To it's me. a boost. It it, it it gets you up. It just seems like more. Where this is very good though. I, I mean, mm. I could drink either one of them. I could drink a whole can of this. Probably half the can of that. I think that's where I'm getting at. Is I think I'd get too bored of the super powerful flavor. And see, I'm the other way around because I don't mind a small dose of mango, but I don't wouldn't want a whole mango. I'm a mango guy. Yeah, yeah. you are. That's what I I'm like, saying. I like the mango. I've the never pineapple, been. The, uh, I like pineapple. I, I I like grapefruit. I like, but mango to me is always that weird fruit to me. I don't know what it is. It just like that's like me and grapefruit. It's I, hit or miss. Yeah. See, I like grapefruit. So like, if it was grapefruit flavored, I'd be all over. Yeah. But where it's what colored grapefruit? Me personally, I always like the white over the pink. Really? I, that's me. Yes. Right, so the, the when you eat, white is more less sour. sweet, right? It's the more, pink is super sweet. Yeah. Pink's the one that people put sugar on it because I don't know why they do that. What's up with that? The, the white one's more pucker power, like more. Like the good it's type a sharp, of fruit. Yeah, in 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 a pink one. Like if you get pink grapefruit I've juice, never had a white or if you grapefruit. have a, if you do like a ruby red grapefruit compared to like a regular unsweetened grapefruit. Yeah. Like, like the, the 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 white one's got more of a puck. I always like the but white one. We never got the pink sugar ones. on. They put sugar on both. Why? Because it's so, it's so tart. Yeah, it's so tart. You put the sugar and it sweetens it up. Why don't we do that with? Uh, we do that with. Every, you can do that with every fruit. But I put it on berries and stuff. I've never done it because I like that. Like if you're gonna eat a grapefruit, you want that. you want the power. You want that. I, that's why I always prefer the white ones. Because they were more pucker power. And that's probably why more people like the red. It, cause because it's more it's less, sweet. Less into, exciting. Most more people, boring. if you're going to grab a, even a grapefruit juice, they want the ruby red over the regular. Yeah. You know, And most people don't get unsweetened grapefruit. That was me. That was my drink of choice when I was younger. You I, would just chug grapefruit juice? Well, it, with vodka. Right oh, but well, we, yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah, but like vodka, unsweetened what? grapefruit. Or it just You could put anything you with could, unsweetened grapefruit. But you could have chose anything else. And you chose grapefruit? I do like grapefruit. Wow. 
Like, like if, if I'm going to drink a juice in the morning, like as a kid, we used to have orange juice all the time. Mm -hmm. And my dad always bought the one with the pulp because the one time he would drink juice, he wanted pulp in it. Orange I, juice is lame. I hate orange juice with pulp in it because of that. It's I don't like it. Things. I don't like the pulp. I just don't like orange juice I shouldn't juice have that to much. chew my drink. That's the way I It's good when you freeze it. it. Uh, maybe it's just Trop 50 I don't like. No, right. No, yeah. yeah that's I, not I, even get juice. To I Trop even 50. I don't even but, know what that is. So 50% less good. Grapefruit juice. Like if I was at a restaurant and they, oh, you have to have a drink, mm -hmm. I would go with grapefruit. Like that for a morning drink. If oh, you right. have any grapefruit flavored snacks, grapefruit flavored candy, send them to our PO box if you want to. <laughs> we have it in the description. That's a segue. We'll review it on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, going well, back. If you ever feel inclined to send anything, send it on down. It would be, be see, interesting to see. Pictures of us. You can print it out and like. Unless Eric is watching and we're not going to do the stinky food challenge. We won't do the soon. stinky fish. <laughs> the stinky fish challenge um, would, where everyone's throwing up outside. It's like old, uh, like rotten fish. That yeah, from Viking smell. ships or something. I don't know. Um, I'm good. I, I don't mind either one of these. They're totally opposite yeah. ends of spectrum. Oh, 100%. So when you drink them back to back, this one is more mellow. This one really does. It's more vibrant. It yeah. jumps out at you. They're um, both... Good. Yeah, they're both. This one bad. tastes like one of the ice ones, I think. I think that's what it was. It, and it could, and I don't remember. I don't remember. To be honest with you. It tastes exactly like another thing we've had on the channel. Um, I mean, they both bring you to an energy drink. They both yeah. bring you to that level of sweetness where it's almost too much. They're both better on ice, in my personal opinion. I agree. And I, I, I think I, we I, should do this with all the up and coming drinks. Okay. I like to try it warm because you get the most flavor out yep. of it. But ice is just how I would... Not that I mind it warm, but I think it, it thins it. And again, it didn't melt very much, even though it's very hot up here. But I think it thins it out just enough. I might even be cross-contaminating, so I'm going to do this in this one. I think it thins it out just enough to... Uh, Did I have a napkin? To, to give it, yeah, you, I had a pile of them here for a reason. Thank you. Someone took it off the table right before the review because i know sure. between you and i we spill every time so yeah i did all over me like always but no i i i don't know how it's gonna be which one is gonna these are both pretty strong flavors the green one i think it's gonna carry through but you're gonna get a little bit of the mango on the back i don't know on the nose they're pretty much blending together i think it's the ice that's the perfect drink to me I actually, Monster, make it. Make it a drink, like Monster. It, better. I, it gives you a little pizzazz with the nice juicy flavor. I actually like that mixed. The issue is like, if you're going to make it and you pour both of them in a jug, now you're drinking two energy drinks right. for the flavor. You'd have to do like half and half. And well, then unless you get half and half and you put the other one in the fridge That's, for later. Yeah, but then it smells and tastes like the fridge. You notice that? No. You, you put baking soda in it, it doesn't do that. Our do we, baking, our we don't have baking soda's like 60 years old. We, we have yeah, we, we need one because it just tastes like the fridge. Mm -hmm. Anyways, he's putting on our shortcomings. We need more baking. Yeah, soda. send us some in, in the we PO don't box. Need soda. <laughs> <laughs> Make a PO box smell great. But I, I can say, like you said, the grab and go generation. No, um, I, 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 everything I is like everything in the store is going from like. Big bag of chips for five bucks to like a small single serving that is disposable for a dollar twenty five. Well, even if you look at the supermarkets, I mean, growing up as a kid, I can't remember. <laughs> and again, I grew up in a small little area though, but I don't remember the supermarkets back in my day. And I'm old, so that had a, so much ninety four over here, so much pre made food like yeah. all the supermarkets now. No matter which one you frequent, all the time yours does, Shaw's does. Uh, and they I sell, all have pre-cooked, pre-made food where you can just go up and grab them and then just eat them hot. Whether, like they're hot. Like I mean, grab that's what meals. I do on my break. Yeah, I, I, I either go and get a donut fresh from the bakery or I go and get, like, some food. It may be grow, maybe because I we some grew wings, up in a poor household. Well, my mother was never going to buy something somebody Pasta. else cooked. We always got, it's you know. way more expensive. It, it, it's just, to but me, it's, it's. If you get the right things, it's not that much more expensive. Especially when they weigh it wrong. But more importantly, if you are, I mean, there's a lot of, it doesn't matter, man, woman, whoever you are, there's a lot of people that don't know how to cook nowadays. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so, I mean, you can get a decent meal prepared for, you know, especially, especially with, I used yeah. to go to Shaw's and they used to do fried chicken meals. You know, you can get a $5 fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Well, if someone doesn't buy that the next day, 
you can get like an eight piece for like three dollars. They yeah. mark it down and stuff like that so they can sell it. So every once in a while, I would go grab that and either just eat it, or you could break that down and put and it in a soup and thing. make it into yeah, a, exactly. you know, make a whole meal out of it. Where it you only know, costs you whatever, and you don't have to cook the chicken. It was separate. dirty. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's already cooked, and it I was mean, good as is. But you could deep bread it if you don't want the bread. You can take all the meat off yeah. and make a big chicken soup out of it. And it's already got seasoned and flavored. It's super convenient. Yeah. Um, it costs reasonable. Even the rotisseries. You know, other than that one that we got that was raw from Walmart. Yeah, that was that weird. One I, Every other rotisserie we ever had is full of flavor. Full of, I mean, I can't tell you. We, and they used to be dirty. We cheap. have ones that are like seasoned with like barbecue seasoning mm -hmm. or different seasonings. I mean, it's crazy how much money they make yeah. over there. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of... So I can see... That's like 90%. I can see where these are... I, I can also see where them super coffees will come into play. Like, yeah. if, you, if you're one of the people like you that don't have time to do it, boom, it's already pre-made. You, you like pour coffee? that over. Hey, I, pour it in a cup with ice and it's I want to do the, like, the, the store-bought cold brew things. They come in, like, almost kind of like milk jugs, but different. I think I've seen them in your store, right? They, they're they like, are they're very like, popular. They're they, on sale right now. That's why I'm bringing it up. Is it like that? They come in like the silk cartons, right? Like they, yeah, in a way, kind of in a way. They're over the, in the diff, yeah. There's like different ones based on brand. Like some of them get really fancy and elaborate with their packaging. Yeah, uh, I, um, I just remember seeing it because I had said you don't like coffee though. So no, that's why I'm not, not going to be get a good it. But if you want to see it, sure, leave a comment. Right. Um, but yeah, no, it's all about convenience. I mm -hmm. mean, like, why brew your own when you can go to Dunkin'? Why go to Dunkin' because yeah. it costs so much, so you, you go right to either to Cumberland Farms, to McDonald's, or you go to the store and you get, like, a whole thing. See, like I've said it before. I, I always grew up, it, it, point A to point B, there was no stopping at Dunkin's on the way to anywhere. You know what I mean? That was just the way... People make time for their day. I, I understand. For Dunkin'. I, I grew up like it was not going to happen. So, like, yeah. when I got my own car, I just did the same thing. So, before I leave the house, I make a cup of coffee. I make a cup yeah. of tea. I have a frozen drink. I mean, a... An ice drink. It's way more I, cost efficient. Just and the thing is, that. is that Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks is, well, mainly Dunkin' is so inconsistent. Mm. Like, the amount of people who get a coffee, take a sip and throw it away is crazy to me. Crazy. Because yeah. it, it doesn't have the right amount of caramel or they added an extra pump of this or I didn't actually want this flavor. I don't know why I got it. Right. You know, it's, it's like the line's always going and I doubt people like... I want to say like 70% don't drink all the coffee that they get. Yeah. Like they leave like either this much or this much. See, and I always made a cup and I would, I had a 46 mile ride to work. So it was gone by the time I got there and right. that was the end of that, you know, and then I would make more when I was at work or whatever. 46 miles but, is miserable. Well, that used to be my, that was going to be my commute. You used to read audio, you was it 46, to audio it was, books? It, 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 it was, how many miles? It wasn't 46 miles. It, it took me like an hour to get to work every day. So audio it, books? It, I forget how many. On the, on the it ride? was probably up with, yeah, I used to do audio You were doing audio books? I did. Audio books are cool. I mean, uh, there's Audible now and a ton of other stuff you can use. But right, I used to go to the library. I'm I would not get an it audio book guy. I'm a podcast. I mean, guy. most vehicles now don't even have a, a disc player, you know. But it used yeah. to be like 15 discs. When I went at the trailer in, in Ohio, I listened to, to two of them. One on the way there, one on the way back. Yeah, it was like 12 discs in each audio book. <laughs> you know, but get you through. So overall, Monster Energy. We just babbled on about everything, yeah, but whatever. that. Uh, Actually, this is now what the third and fourth one we've did by. They're actually, I, I can see why these are a huge hit. They have so much of a fan base. I mean, they have Monster Energy vending machines. Not to try to just sell monsters. Not to try to segue, but that I'm kind of glad you got two more of these because eventually I want to try to find the alcoholic ones and, and yeah. do them on the channel. So that's cash more mash because they're different flavors. So now at least at least I'll have some kind of a hopefully they have these two flavors. I want to eventually it. get to the other ones. I'm afraid to do the, the coffee ones. They mm -hmm. have been suggested a long time ago before we even did a monster review. I'm just afraid you don't like coffee. I don't like coffee and I, like as an energy drink coffee flavor <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's coffee flavor or if it's actually coffee. I think it's just coffee flavored. Well, it's not going to matter. Me. It's still going to taste like coffee. Because yeah. coffee ice cream doesn't have coffee in it, but it's coffee flavored. But it, it still tastes, tastes like it coffee. It tastes different. Eh, coffee yes ice no. cream flavor? It's like I've never had coffee milk. That's basically they, they just sell a coffee syrup like chocolate syrup and you mix it up. I've never too. seen that, though. You know, they used to it back in the day. That was, that was Pepe's favorite. So. I don't know. Well, there you go. There is the Monster Energy. I actually like both of these together is my favorite. Yeah, it makes this delicious. That, 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 honestly, I mean, that's my favorite. I just did it again just to yeah, make no, sure. No. But I do prefer 
them mixed together. Uh, and so did, if you haven't tried what, what that, what did we try and mix together? All of the ice. That, those were uh, that very was good. good. Too. Yeah. yeah, there's there's something that like companies need to do. They gotta go like airhead. I mean, war, uh, airhead mode. Whether the mystery flavors just whatever just, they just have whatever left. they have left and just, just instead of like throwing it out, just like mix them. Yeah, no, mystery I actually flavors. these two don't sound like they should go together, but they, they, it's actually the better or the way. It's not that bad. It's like an apple like funny mango. I know, but they just pair well. They they actually neither one of them dominates. I think they mix together nicely. It's actually a good blend. I I'm surprised like that none of none of them dominate. That's what I, I would think. This would just overpower it, but you it it's actually it makes a good blend. So. Yeah. Well, there you go. That being said, uh, check out Ryan's new album because it's actually better than he says it all. I'm ditching days. the music videos for every song. Okay. And you, oh, you're going to stop pumping out the I'm songs? I'm just going to pump out the songs. I have so much unreleased music, and right. most of it's not as good. I'm just going to say it. I don't think those songs that are going to be coming out soon, they're better than my last album, in my opinion. But they are not as good as what I'm making now. You know, you know, I have improved you, you, so much. That's the that's the key. But I have so much music that is like these are the really good songs. These are like the good songs back then. But I don't want to release them because I want to release the very good ones. So I'm just gonna pump those out. I'm gonna make like a few, um, probably like an album with like a ton of hype songs and then more like a chill song. Well, speaking of improving, check out Jerky Gaming because he also just had the world record. I had the world record uh, for video game speedrun. Um, speedrun, and then someone stole it. But they, yeah, they I don't have, have it, it anymore. But I'm going for it. Um, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get it again, but I, I'm I'm very close. But that's so. all right. You had it once. That's all. I had it matters. once. I'm in the books. That's all. I'm that in matters. the books. That's what matters. So. so um, and that being said, thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video.